expert, our tech expert, Katie Linendahl, joining us now from New York to help us understand this. Well, Baywatch would have been a much different show if all we had was robots out there rescuing people. So please do tell, how is this thing supposed to work? Yeah, and TJ, let me tell you, I was a lifeguard for many years, and if somebody had the choice between me saving them or a robot, go with the robot, hands <laughs> down. What looks like a giant flotation device right in front of me is Emily. She is a robotic lifeguard. What's awesome about her is this is cutting edge technology. Six times faster than the average lifeguard, she operates with speeds up to 28 miles per hour. And you said it best, she has sonar devices built right inside that can actually track the move movement of a distressed swimmer. So if you grew up in a beach town like I did, you know when those waves come in and those riptides, seconds are critical in terms of operation and rescue. So when you have a cutting edge device that is using Navy technologies, best of the best, of course you want something like Emily on your side this summer. And Katie, how does this thing work? It, it can really seek out uh, a distressed swimmer on its own, or does it actually have to be remotely controlled somewhere by somebody? Right, as again, it has sensors built inside it that can actually track the movement of a distressed swimmer. But right now, Emily actually operates via remote control from the lifeguards. And inside her, there's speakers. So when the lifeguard gets it out to that individual that's, you know, out in the water, she, he or she can actually talk to that person and calm them down until they get out into the water. But next, some, next spring, we're actually going to see Emily be remote controlled and not have to be, it'd be actually auto itself, which is really cool. So again, cutting edge technology, technology that uses high tech Navy technology. So really some amazing stuff here. Well, Katie, is it, is it going to be financially feasible to start moving these and putting them on beaches and, quite frankly, replacing a lot of real lifeguards? I don't think we're going to see it replacing lifeguards anytime soon, but I got to say at the price of $3,500 right now, it's kind of a no-brainer. Like, I would want this assistance with me oh. if I was guarding one of the beaches. And what we're seeing is in California, these are going to start rolling out next weekend in Malibu and areas in the surrounding areas. But yes, we're hoping that these devices get rolled out even further across the country in due time.